Hey, how doing? This is Preacher Man RB and this is another episode of Retro TV 91. This time I'm doing another boot reviews, and this time I'm reviewing The Fate of the Furious. What happens on this movie starts off with Dominic Toretto and Lady, they're in Cuba, and they're with their family, Dominic's family, and Dominic's cousin's about to get his car repoed by this guy who, uh, who sold him the car, and he owes debts on it, so the guy's about to repo it, and Dom says to his cousin, if you owe a debt, you should repay it. And then this guy says, yes, if you owe a debt, you will repay it. And Dom says you're one of them guys, and they wind up having a race, and Dom is driving his cousin's car that is not real good. It's an old beat-up car, and he takes all the extra weight off of it, and the only thing leaves on this motor and what needs to be run. And he puts knives knot, to it at Cuban knives, and then he, for some reason, he takes a coke can and takes the cap off of it and connects it to some kind of hose or wire or something and they race and during the race Dom uses the NOS and the engine starts catching on fire and he's had, and during the race he has to go into reverse and drive that way that way the flames won't get on him and he pulls that cord that is connected to that bottle cap bottle uh, opener or whatever and it makes the car go faster and he beats this guy by like an inch going in reverse and then the guy gives him his car and says that he earned it and he's earned his respect but Don said all he wanted was his respect and gave his car back then he gave his apology to his cousin and they, then Don runs into this woman named this song, I can't remember her name but she's a hacker and she has leverage over Dominic because she has kidnapped Elena and Dom has to help her get this EMP pulse cannon thing. And Hobbs get, gets connected by his bosses and they have to go, go get this EMP uh, pulse bomb or whatever. And he rounds up the team and Dom and everybody and they do the job and get the EMP bomb. And they're able to get away and Tez has this cannon, uh, cannon this crane with this ball on it, and he uses this to get rid of the Russian uh, Berlin police or military or whatever they are. They get away and they split up and Dom and Hobbs go one way, the rest can't go the other. And Dom knocks Hobbs off the road and takes the EMP bomb and leaves and Hobbs says you got a chance to stop this and it won't go no further and Dom leaves and takes it to this hacker. Well, we find out that the hacker has a uh, Elena, and we find out that Elena has a baby in the Stom's son, and she was pregnant right when Dom got back with Letty, and she was going to tell him after him and then Letty had their their honeymoon in Cuba, and she didn't have time to tell him because this woman has already kidnapped him, kidnapped her and her son, and this is what why Dom is working with this woman. And they use this EMP bomb, and Dom has to go to this place at the end of the movie in Russia on the ice caps or somewhere. And he uses the EMP bomb to take down their defenses, and he goes in there in his car, and he goes up under the sub and uses the bomb again to dismantle the sub. That way she can hack into the sub. And at the end of the movie, she's trying to use the sub because it has nuclear warheads in it. And during the middle of the movie, Dominic had to steal the launch code for this for this ro uh, warhead from this Russian defense guy. And he, the way they do this is this woman hacks into all these automotive cars, and they pin this Russian guy down, and Dom's able to get these codes. And Lady gets the code for Dom after Dom and uh, Decker Shaw have a fight and Dom shoots Decker Shaw and looks like Decker Shaw is dead because Decker Shaw was helping the team run after Dom and they go and he, well, let Dom gets the code from Letty and leaves but she didn't want to give them to him until the, the guy that works with the woman that has Dom's family and in captured, puts a gun to her head, and then he puts a gun to his head, and they leave off the code. But when they get back, she winds up. This woman winds up killing Elena, and is going to kill Don's son if he doesn't help. 
and she tells them this, and then they go to the what I just told y'all at the end of the movie, and during this whole time, Deckard Shaw and Owen Shaw get on the plane where this woman is, and they rescue Dom's son, and when Dom finds this out, he kills the guy that works with this woman, then he goes and helps the team get away from the submarine, and they just barely get away from it with this big action scene with the submarine coming over the ice cap and trying to run them over and trying to kill them. And she fires a heat-seeking missile at, at them, and he's able to get it turned around and go back to the sub. He ramps over the sub and hits his car just right. That way the, the heat-seeking missile blows up the sub and he has to jump out of his car and the flames are coming right after him and the rest of the team block him with their cars and save Dom and at the end of the movie Dom gets his son back and we find out that he names his son after Brian and that's all that really happened on this movie besides uh, uh, Scott Eastwood joining the team he's working with Mr. Nobody and he's his second hand man and that's how they get all their cars and go after this woman and stuff, and the swarm gets dad's eye, and then they figure a way to get it back, and this, this whole thing. Uh, if y'all watch the Fate of the Furious movie, what did y'all like about it? As always, it's just an obvious I'm not going to be awesome. You can never see Virtual TV, not See you next time.